controlling your life, man. Controlling your life. If God isn't in control of your life, then who is? Okay? So, if you're not allowing God to come and control your life, that means you're allowing the devil to, right? Now, now I know some people are going to tell me they're going to be like, well, you know, God, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not relying on God, but I sure ain't relying on the devil. Well, if you're not relying on God, then you are relying on the devil. You know what I mean? Because somebody got to fill that spot. It's either God or it's either the devil. Once again, some people are going to say, well, I don't really look to God for all that. I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm making, I'm making this money. I'm, I'm going to be all right. Some people are going to talk like that. That means the devil in control. You know what I mean? The, the, the devil will fool you, you know, giving you earthly things, earthly things that are not uh, eternal. You know what I mean? To make you feel like that that, 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 that spot is already filled. So, but anyway, basically what I want to say is rely on God. Rely on God. Put all your trust in God. They got something that something that's filling your void. It's either God or it's either the devil. If you know it's not God, then for sure it's the devil. You know what I mean? Some people know it's the devil filling their void. But look, it's never too late to change. That's why I make these videos, man. Nobody perfect. We all human. You know what I mean? You take a, you cut your arm, we all bleed the same. You know what I mean? Nobody better than, than the next person. However, once you do get knowledge about certain fields, you are held accountable for it. You know what I mean? If you if you ace the whole geometry class and you walk around like, man, I don't know nothing about no shapes, you're going to feel bad on the inside because why? You know your shape. Look, just 2013, let's make it a real good one. Make sure you're relying on God. You're putting all your trust in God. You know what I mean? Don't don't give the devil an easy little layup. Don't give the devil an easy layup, man. You know how it is. You watch your NBA game on a fast break. The dude just jogged down the court. He just lay it up. It's an easy two points, right? You don't want that to be your life to the devil. If the devil see where you're just trying to control everything on your own and not bring God in your life, that's when the devil come in. It's an easy layup for him because you done already defeated yourself by saying, I don't need God. I'm going to do this on my own. That's when the devil scoot right next to you. You know what I mean? Feed you some of his medicine. You know what I mean? So this 2013... You want to eliminate the devil out of your life, man. Start reading your Bible more and uh, try to become an overall better person. Don't think you know everything. Even if you got a lot of money, even if you got 10 master degrees or, or, or a doctor degree, whatever you got, don't ever feel like you know everything, man. Always rely on God to give you your next, uh, your next set of wisdom because you might know all stuff in this earth. You know what I'm saying? You might know textbook stuff. You might know all this stuff, but at the end of the day, have you learned enough knowledge to save your own life to make sure that you're going to heaven whenever you die? Have you been reading your Bible? Have you been living right? That's what matters at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Y'all have a good day. Stay blessed. Subscribe to the channel. I'll holler at y'all later.